When it comes to a major roundup of drug dealers, most law enforcement agencies would consider 50% a pretty good success rate. But today's raids in Clinton County are possibly trying to set a new record. By noon, deputies and police across Clinton County already had 29 suspected drug dealers behind bars. Most, like Kevin Mullen, indicted for making meth, which probably answers the why me question on his shirt. Others, like Richard Thompson, indicted on heroin charges. The most troubling issue of all, five of the 36 indictments were for teenagers. Years past, they were usually in their mid-20s to uh, mid-30s, uh, even some 50 and 60-year-old in trafficking. But this year, we're, we're seeing a lot more of 18, 19-year-olds getting into the business, which is all the more reason we need to bust them. Considering the time and effort, a bust like this is pretty expensive and unusual when you realize it comes at a time when Clinton County suffered a tremendous financial hardship with the closing of DHL and the tremendous loss of tax revenue. The commissioners believe that we need to do everything we possibly can do for the safety and the security of our county. We all re recognize that we're dealing with difficult times and everybody the, the department heads as well as elected officials have been able to work together and we have not laid off one person in Clayton County. Perhaps the most memorable arrest of the day was at East Clinton High School. It was here deputies took 18-year-old Sebastian Williams into custody, yanking him off a bus that was just returning from a field trip to the Ohio Supreme Court a real view of justice in action for the students. Get out of my face. I uh, hope it sends the message to the entire school that uh, in Clinton County, we're not gonna tolerate it. Rich Jaffe, Local 12.